Hey guys, it's Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Now hopefully it's cold and wintry by where you live, as you're gonna love this home screen called Snow Touch by Gary Odds. And you know what that means, it's gonna be a very simple tutorial for you to set up for your Android. Here's what it looks like, so let us begin with this mad tutorial. Oh, this work is amazing. Another work of art by Gary Arts. As you can see, these beautiful wallpapers coupled with um, this amazing UCCW widgets. It's just perfect for that winter season. If you're having snow, even if you're not like me in the blazing heat, it's still an amazing home screen. These UCC skins created by Gary Arts, as well as these icons also created by himself are just amazing. You really gotta check out Gary Arts. He's starting on the Google Play Store. Give him some support from the My Color Screen community. Let us begin with today's tutorial. It's gonna be mad. Okay, starting from our very stock Apex launcher, as always, we'll go into our options and go to Apex settings. And I want you to decide, do you want me to show like an Alex T's one seen over here? Do you wanna have the instructions just put out in a blurred screen just so you can get all them? Or do you want me to go through them quickly like saying home screen settings, portrait grid, change to nine by seven, okay, etc., etc. Let me know in the comment section, but for now, I'll just do it quickly like this. So we go portrait grid and our home screen settings, nine by seven, manage screens. We want to only have two screens, minimum scrolling time, make it 10, transition effect, none is good, doesn't really matter. Wallpaper mode, we want it to be multiple screen scrolling, NB important. Finally, we go to hide element, we want to hide notification bar, hide shadows, hide icon labels, dock settings, scroll down, hide the dock, boom. Advanced settings, go to advanced settings, we want it resize any widget, overlapping widgets, comes in very important, might be only for the pro version, but just double check and go back, yes. That is our Apex launcher done. As you can see, very, very stock right now. Okay, once we have set up our Apex settings, we'll hold down and choose wallpaper, and we wanna to go to live wallpaper. This is because we'll use, be using multi-picture live wallpaper for this. We will just go settings, Screen one settings, you wanna go into picture source, single picture, and don't forget to copy Gary Arts's wallpapers and screens called Snow Touch onto your phone. As you can see, this one is only used if you have an S2, you, can, you don't have to use it, don't have to do this process, but this is if you have any other one, you will select that for screen one. You wanna go crop resize ratio, make sure it's fit to full screen. Go screen two settings, do the same thing. Snow touch, select the second picture, make sure your crop resize is fit to full screen. Transition type doesn't really matter, you can leave it as card or none. And we'll just go back, go set wallpaper, and it works, pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, let's move on to our widgets. Okay, let's start off with our UCCW widget, which will hold down select widgets, and remember to copy his use zips for that whole folder onto your phone because you'll go UCCW 5x2 for all of them. Don't forget that. Go open use zip and find where you saved it. I saved it, saved it in Snow Touch. Let's start off with that clock at the top. So we'll go Snow Touch clock. It'll already just import it like this. And we'll just resize it. Boom, boom, it's done. Let's do it for the, for the weather. We'll go hold down widgets again. UCCW 5x2, open use zip. Snow touch, weather, go boom, weather, and remember just to resize it. Now I'm gonna do that for the battery ones below here as well, just gonna fast forward it. Great, so that's all our UCCW set up. Remember, just to tap into it, into any of them, go options, hotspots mode, you want it on. There we go, now you can see touching them won't do anything, it won't bring it up. Unless you wanna open a clock where you have to set on hotspots mode, see the link below if you wanna see how to do that. So next we're gonna be adding in our icons. So remember just to resize this upper way to get it just so everything doesn't jump around. So we'll do that. Now it's quite easy to add icons. We'll just simply hold down. Let's start off with our app drawer. There we have our app drawer. Now we can just tap in that app drawer to add different things. Let's add in our browser, our phone, our Gmail, and let's go for messaging. Boom, all in a row like that. Now it's quite easy to change these icons. Just hold down, edit, tap the phone, Select picture, you want to go quick pick. And remember it's in the snow touch folder where they all are. Let's go for the phone. Go okay, boom, change like that. Let's do the same for the Gmail. Hold on, select picture. You get into such a rhythm with this, it's quite ridiculous. So we'll go okay. And I'm just changing it like that. So we'll do it for all of these. And as you can see, we have there our awesome looking icons made by Gary Art himself. So we're just gonna resize 
this battery bar to over here but as you can see it's covering those icons so what we want to do is hold down and say send to back which will allow you to now open up everything just like that open up everything and we'll just swipe to this side we'll do exactly the same here boom and there we have our two home screens like that finally we just want to add in our jumpers so we'll go apex actions we want to jump to screen 2 as you can see pushing that we'll jump to screen 2 and we just want to change that icon so we'll hold down edit tap the icon as always select picture we want to go into quick pick select our blank PNG as you can see it's quite blank can't even see it go ok boom disappears tapping there will bring it to screen 2 as simple as that do it to the same as this side and when you tap it jumps back so quick and easy jumping looks really cool home screen completed tutorial complete hope you guys liked our video Please subscribe to the channel as there are many more of these daily tutorials coming this festive season. Thank you very much guys and I'll see you around next time. You want to see something cool? Into the recycle bin.